Today we're flying a brand new 182 to Sun and Fun, and we have one issue, and that's who's going to be the pilot in command. So I think we have one way to settle this. That's going to be a game of rock, paper, scissors. take off, Mindy, we should definitely go to the Banyan Pilot Shop and pick up some supplies. Everybody. We have an exciting flight here today. We have Captain Mindy. Thanks for uh, having us on board today. Yeah, this will be fun. We're going to be flying this brand new 2019 Cessna 182 from Fort Lauderdale up to Lakeland, Florida for the Sun and Fun event. Yeah, this is one of its first trips. It's only got 15 hours on it. Wow, this should be exciting. We'll go over to 1985 and pick up the ATIS. Fort Lauderdale accept confirmation November. 1940 to observation, 1140 to 10, visibility 10, sky condition. 4,200 scattered, 5,000 scattered, filling 7,000 broken. Temperature 270.18, three zero zero zero. 3000. Alice, the localizer runway 9 are approaching use, landing on pardon runway 9 and runway 13. All the parting fixed wing aircraft contact clients still have around 127.5 prior to taxi. All aircraft be back runway 7 and hold transactions. Ownership contact, advise you of it is information November. All right, we have information November. We'll go over to the clearance delivery and uh, pick up our IFR clearance. November. Clarence, good afternoon, November 951 Golf Romeo, over at the Banyan Pilot Shop in November, looking to pick up our IFR. November 951 Golf Romeo, except Clarence, clear to Lakeland Airport via Fort Lauderdale, 6 departure, thunder transition, then assault. Maintain 2,000, expect 8,000, 1-0 minus after departure, line departure frequency 119.7, squawk 4517. Cleared up to Lakeland, Florida, 4106, thunder transition as filed. Maintain 2000, expect 8000, 10 minutes after, 197, squawking 4517. Number 951, Golf Romeo. 951, Golf Romeo, read back correct, come to ground for taxi today. Roger, thanks. All right, we got our clearance. Mindy's got it all put her programmed into the airplane. It's there. Now we'll go over to the ground frequency and uh, let them know we're ready to go. Good afternoon, executive ground, November 951, Golf Romeo, over at the Banyan Pilot Shop with information of ready taxi. November 951, Golf Romeo, Executive Ground, Runway 9 or taxi via Bravo Echo. Bravo Echo to Runway 9 or November 951, Golf Romeo. All right, so we got our taxi instructions. Ready to go, yep, Mindy? I'm ready. Are you ready? Sun and fun. Here we come. All right. Got our lights on. Park and brakes off. We'll go out here, hang left on Bravo, and then down to Echo. So we'd like to welcome everybody on board. If you do like these videos, please smash that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Number one, Golf Romeo, remain my frequency, advise run up complete. Roger, remain with you and we'll advise when run up is complete. One, uh, one Golf Romeo. This is a I'll very busy class Delta November airport. Golf Romeo, pretty paint job. Uh, thank you. Uh, we're bringing up the Sun and Fun today at a turn display. Nice, you've got one of our soups there. Oh, uh, uh, good deal. Uh, the tower here is in the ground frequency. Very nice uh, yeah. controllers here. I've been flying out of Fort Lauderdale Executive my whole career. So today's mission is we're going to bring this brand new 182 up to the Sun and Fun event, November and zero it's going to be on display up there the whole week. Fox 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 if you guys Fox ever go to these Fox events, Fox Oshkosh, Fox. Sun and Fun, you can stop by. You can see Mindy, meet Mindy, and uh, she'll show you the different airplanes. All right, where should we swing it for a run-up, like straight through here? Yeah, straight through there. So right up ahead, guys, you'll see that's the run-up area. We're going to go in there and uh, do our quick run-up, and we'll see you guys on the other side of that. Alright, run-up is complete. 
We'll go over to the ground, let him know that we're ready to go. East contact uh, clearance. Second ground, November 951, Golf Romeo, the route is complete. November 1, Golf Romeo, Roger, Tower 1 to 0 0.9, away in fire fire release. Over to Tower, thanks for your one Golf Romeo. Second Tower, good afternoon, November 951, Golf Romeo, the route is complete, we're holding short of nine. Sure, 951, Golf Romeo, Executive Tower, Roger, waiting release from Miami. November 1, Golf Romeo, fly heading 090, zero, zero, Romeo 9, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, November 1, nine, we'll fly 090 zero, zero in the heading, one Golf Romeo. All right, 090 zero, zero is set. We've got mixture in, and props in, we got flaps 10. Uh, what will be our rotation off. speed? It'll be... We'll be 59 knots. Oh, that's not bad at all. Be nice and quick. All right, final looks clear. Uh, down the runway is clear, and we are clear for takeoff. Sun and fun, here we come. All right, we'll let up on center line, go full power, and look for the 59 knots. All right. Airspeed's live, we're in the green. Well, pressure temperatures all look good. And here's our rotation. It gets up and goes for a 182. There's the tower off our right wing. So we've been giving 2,000 feet is what we're climbing to on a 090 heading. Same altitude, we'll bring our flaps out. Flaps selected and indicating. And we're up. November 1, Golf Romeo, contact Miami Approach, have a good day. Over departure at 1, Golf Romeo, have a good day. Good afternoon, Miami, November 951, Golf Romeo, 700, climb to 2,000. Number 951, Golf Romeo, Miami departure, radar contact. Golf Romeo, climb and maintain 3,000. 3,000, one Golf Romeo. President Trump is currently in South Florida, so they put up this big TFR here. So, you know, they you know who's going in and out of that. You can't just go into that squawking VFR. You have right. to be on an assigned flight and have a code in your transponder, which we do. We're just about to enter it right Our now. 424 Alpha Romeo, Miami approach. Yep, uh, just checking. Yeah, the Fort Lauderdale Executive down. actually has a cutout Romeo, Roger, turn right of the TFR. Yeah, you can see a uh, four flight just said caution you end up inside TFR. Yep, we've been... Yeah, you don't you want that way. Thanks, sir. Yeah, if you could take a look here at the iPad, you can see this is our routing today. We took off out of Fort Lardo. We're going to get radar vectors, intercept that pink line, which is the thunder transition. Then we're going to continue up into Lakeland. And our final cruise altitude. Miami departure, radar contact. We'll be 8,000 feet. Maintain VFR out of below 2,000 for traffic overhead. That should put us above all the clouds. VFR below 2,000. 3,000 Romeo, Juliet. Number 4 Alpha Romeo, turn right heading 270. We've got a beautiful view of Fort Lauderdale Beach off our right wing. November 531. You can look all the way down. You'll see Miami all the way down there. South Florida is a beautiful area to fly. Maybe if we keep it on a 090 heading, we could just go to the Bahamas today. Yeah, we would do that instead. <laughs> the water's pretty clear. If you look close, you might see some sharks down there, guys. November 1, Golf Romeo, turn left heading 330. Left 330, one Golf Romeo. November 4, Alpha Romeo, descend to maintain 3000. Alright, turn our heading bug around to a 330 heading. Yep. Station Air 2380, descending out of 2000, November. And he's got the autopilot on. Miami Approach, remain outside of Class Charlie Airspace, the Fort Lauderdale, altimeter 3001. 23802, outside of Class Charlie, 802. Now you're just going to pull the prop back a little bit? Yep, and the power. We'll get everything in the green while we're at this cruise altitude. Well, probably a half field. Yeah. Looking up north on the beach, you can see it's Pompano Beach up that direction. And right down below us is uh, Pompano Airport. Yeah. Number 951, Golf Romeo, Miami Approach, call me to 8,000. 8,000, Golf Romeo. All right, we've been cleared right up to our cruise altitude. Yeah, I really was looking forward to flying this plane, Mindy. But rock, paper, scissors uh, <laughs> basically gave you the keys to the airplane today. Yeah, well, we figured. I feel like I, I go up against Mindy in all these challenges. I've done a fishing tournament against her, a golf tournament, and uh, rock, paper, scissors. I seem to lose at every one of them. Cornhole. Cornhole. We did cornhole. Well, no cornhole competition before we took off today. 
Papa, this is Mindy's job. She gets to fly these really awesome airplanes all around. You did a good job, Mindy. Thank you. It's uh, fun. What do you currently fly? 182? I fly the Skyhawk, Skylane, Turbo Stationaire, Bonanza, and now I fly the Baron too. That's awesome. Yeah. So when people think about different pilot careers, you know, there's a lot more than just the airlines. Uh, Mindy gets to fly these around, and that's, you know, that's her job. Yeah, there's nothing better than flying new airplanes. If you guys are considering becoming a pilot, be sure to go down below in the description below. My friend Jason Shepard, M0A.com. He runs an online ground school that will help you, guide you through getting your ratings. Pretty good setup he's got going on. Much better weather today compared to last year when we flew the Sun of Fun. Oh yeah, it was storming last year. We had to dodge a lot of storms. I'll put that link up in the description there if you guys want to check out that video. It's when we flew the Kodiak. Alright, right, that's 1,000 to go. We have 7,000 climbing to 8,000, which is set up in our altitude pre selector. 5 1 Golf Romeo, turn left heading 270. 270, 1 Golf Romeo. Alright, 270 on the heading bug. 200 more feet to go until we are level off. That's a good altitude, right above the uh, cloud layer. If you look down there, you can see all the different airboat trails in the Everglades, and they have the different fishing okay. camps out there. All right, so 8,000, we'll go ahead, I got my cow flaps closed. All right. We got our power in, we got RPM to 2,400, and then we'll go ahead and lean it out. So we're letting the EGTs uh, come up, we're watching those on the aim assist. Oh, you can see the, all the different, all the temperatures rising. Once one of those cylinders peaks, it'll let us know, and then we'll go ahead and enrich it to 50 degrees, range of peak. Okay. So on the new engines, we're not supposed to go high. But we're, during this break-in period, Oh, that's we'll true. Uh, we're not supposed, this is probably the highest we want to go with it. Yeah, but right now we're really breaking in this engine still, right? Yeah. When is it the engine considered broken in and you don't have to worry about, like, how many uh, hours? Usually about 50. 50 hours? Yeah. Um, it's really broken in a lot earlier than that, but we use the break-in procedures to 50, 50 hours. I never really thought about doing that because I've never, I don't really fly brand new airplanes that often. Yeah, yeah, so we like to run it hard and low during these initial first couple hours and run mineral oil through it. Oh, really? Get an oil change done at 25 hours, again at 50, and then the break in period should be well done. I do have some bumpy clouds up ahead, I can see. Even though they're not big storm clouds, they still are. Should we ask for like right? Can yeah. 10, 15. Yeah. Five, maybe one golf from Any chance we get right 15 for a little buildup? Take off from What do you want? Right 15. First. Thank you. Okay, so that was not bad. We uh, see we do have some clouds up ahead. That might be a little uncomfortable going through. We asked for a right 15 degree deviation, and she approved it for us. About to go into some other clouds right here. We'll be relying off our instruments. We'll be in IMC conditions. To me, flying really gets fun when you get to fly IFR through the clouds and stuff. Yeah, I love IFR flying. I like flying through clouds, just not the dangerous ones. Yeah, this one's fine. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see right over there. That cloud, you can go through it, it's safe, but it would just be a little bit more bumpy than what I feel like dealing with right now. Just rather not. Yeah. A lot of times, too, you'll see, you get up to these clouds, you'll actually see the clouds tumbling and building, like, right in front of you. It's really interesting when you see that. You can see it on the tops of this one. Yeah. Foothills 200. I have a feeling this one will be a little bit more bumpy than normal. frequency, return to your previous. Hope everybody's got their seatbelts on. What else, 200? And as expected, it is a little bit bumpier. I'll never forget the first time, after getting your instrument rating, you know, flying in a steady overcast. On your own for the first On your first own, time. and it's like, it's a little intimidating, you know, even though you passed your test. It's exciting, too. I remember that. Like right there, we just lost. Turn left at we uh, we well, hit a draft of six, negative 600 feet a minute right there. We went yeah. down, hitting the different thermals. I think we might hit even. Romeo, heading to join the Thunder transition. 
Seven heading to join uh, Thunder Transition, one golf Romeo. So right now we're on heading mode, so I'll go ahead and click the nav button. And you can see here the little Probably GPS in white, uh, so we're going to hold this heading until we intercept. 3245, one golf Romeo, have a good day. Miami, good afternoon, November 951, Golf Romeo, 8300 to join the Thunder Transition. November 9051, Golf Romeo, Miami Center, Roger, Palm Beach, Altima, 3000. Zero, zero. Zero, zero, thanks. All right, I think it's going to start clearing That'd up here. Miami, yeah, we shall see. Thousand. So we're on heading mode, it's holding heading, November and we have our Thunder Transition and the Center, GPS. Roger. And we have that locked in next, next, so once we get up on that line, the airplane's autopilot's going to get us right onto that GPS line. Perfect. Now we can just sit back and make sure it does what we told it to. <laughs> yeah, a lot of flying nowadays is just monitoring the different systems. Look down at the iPad here, you'll see the breadcrumb feature that Forefly oh, came out that. with. So you can see right where the uh, our airplane has been. I haven't I can, used that before, that's pretty cool. I can see us, we're coming up on that pink line, which is the Thunder Transition, and the airplane, like you said, will turn on and follow Remember that one line. Remember one Golf Romeo, clear to right Lakeland. Ooh. Direct Lakeland, thanks for that, one Golf Romeo. Well, hey. how about that, guys? You gotta love it when you get direct to your destination. Yes, thank you. We'll go over here. Remember I cut a lot of time off. Juliet, Tap on Lakeland, direct to. 180. And look how up cleared up it is now. And there's our direct to line, right to right Lakeland. As you can see out in front of us, looks like it's going to be pretty smooth from the rest of the way out here. Yeah, so now that we have it leaned out, where true airspeed is about 145 knots at about 14 and a half gallons. So we're showing, let's see here, how, what's our ETA from here? We have another 48 minutes to go. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, so we're with the coffee time. We can drink our beverages. <laughs> One hour to destination. Cheers. Is usually when I say we're good to go. Cheers, Mindy. Sun and fun, here we come. Started initial descent at a 6,000, going down to 4,000. Currently about 10 minutes out from Lakeland, Florida. Uh, looks like we'll go to 18.02 and pick up the ATIS at Lakeland. Yep. Get airport information, we have our 205 on Zulu weather. Went 27009, visibility 10, ceiling 5,500 broken. Temperature 7, dew point 14, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Advise initial contact. You have information. Romeo. All right, we have information in Romeo. Romeo. We got the winds and all the information. The airport puts out information every hour, and they give it an identifier. This hour right now is Romeo. So when we check in, we'll let them know we got that information. You can actually see the TFR around Lakeland, Florida, for the air show coming up. Right now it's yellow because it's not active yet. As soon as it goes active for the TFR, it'll go red. So right now you got the Sun and Fun Air Show coming up. Gives you the dates and surface at 15,000 feet. Charlie, Dr. Papa Uniform Tango, your radar contact three miles west awesome. of what well, Jula, first of all, altimeter 3007. Yeah, expect 27. Yeah, expect 27. So during the show, they have the actual now, runway 27, and then they use the parallel taxiway as an additional runway. They have the covered dots on it like Oshkosh has. Oh, okay. One Golf Romeo, contact Tampa Approach, 119.9. 19.9, one Golf Romeo, have a good day. Good day. Now this is where I'll let Tampa know that we have information Romeo when we check out. Tampa, good afternoon, November 951 Golf Romeo, 4,000 feet with Romeo and we got the airport in sight. 951 Golf Romeo, Tampa approach, Quebec is current at Lake, when expect visual approach, runway 27 left, advise me when you have Quebec. Roger, with Quebec and we'll advise one Golf Romeo. Alright, now we'll go back to the ATIS and now get the new... It must have just updated, that's just a weird time. Yeah, it is a weird time. You have information, Romeo. No, he's uh, mistaken on that. So the controller, I believe, is confused. <laughs> we'll let him know he's is. It's still broadcasting Romeo. Tampa, one golf Romeo. It's still broadcasting Romeo at Lakeland. 
Well, Romeo's after. So okay, one golf Romeo. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, you still have the airport in sight. Hey, firm. One golf Romeo. Just one golf Romeo. Clear visual perch. Runway two seven left and uh, enter the left base. Left base. Clear for the visual two seven left. Or nine five one golf Romeo. All right, Mindy. All you get right. to have a. Playing one November with you, turn five degrees left, turn five degrees left. Yeah, we're going to take off the autopilot. So we're going to be using Shelter FBO, which right. is on the north side of the field. And tomorrow, Indy will be having this airplane towed over into the Sun and Fun dis uh, the event to do the display. Yeah, tonight it'll be overnight at the FBO. Just and one then... golf, Romeo, contact Lakeland Tower, 124.5. Welcome to Sun and Fun. Have a good time. 24.5, thanks. Uh, November 951, golf, Romeo. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome so to Sun and Fun. Welcome to Sun and Fun. You're going to get sequenced with everybody no, else. About eight of mine. Lakeland Tower, good afternoon. November 951 Golf Romeo. We're 11 to the southeast. And 951 Golf Romeo, Lakeland Tower, report four from the airport. I report four from, uh, miles from the airport. One Golf Romeo. Good for sequence. One three zero. Tower at one Golf Romeo. We're four miles out. One Golf Romeo, okay. Finding 360 for sequence. I'm not sure what your sequence is yet. Right, the 360 on the heading, one golf from you. Station here, November 145, Delta Julia, 10, so, oh, that's my Oh, is it? Yeah, that's our show 206 coming in. Oh, the 206, all yeah. you guys are, oh, we're all arriving at the same time. That's awesome. That's and Sarah should be there already with the show Bonanza. Nice. This is going to be a fun right, week. Delta Julia, call me when you're four miles out. One golf from you, turn towards the airport and keep your speed up. Oh, well, turn towards the airport and keep your speed up. One golf, Romeo. Two, one, Romeo. Go ahead and slow it back. Look for a 182 at your 11 o'clock position. He's going to outrun you by about 30 knots. All right, we're outrunning Ooh, that airplane by 30 knots. I've never been faster than a lot of people. There we go, Mandy. <laughs> You're rocking the skies today. All right, we're starting to turn on to a final. Is that U-7-8-0? 2-7 left. 2-7 uh, left is the actual uh, runway. 2-7 right oh, you're is the taxiway right. on the is right. Is that taxiway? Right. All right, I didn't form it. Let's make sure oh, we know right. who we I are. I think I see a guy on short final. Yep, I do too. He wanted us to keep our speed up, but we're going to have to start slowing down a little. That's true. Yeah. Uh, one, you one do actually have to land the airplane. Ideally. One guy for me. Clear to land 2-7 left. Clear to land 2-7 left. One guy for me. 7-8-0. Look for a Cessna at 1 o'clock in about a mile and a half. We got a mixture prop forward. We got our flaps working. On and right, the guys south of the down airport, and all down. holes in the sky. Right. What's the approach uh, speed you're looking for? Where are we looking for? Uh, you got to keep our okay. speed up, so we're a little fast, right uh, but we're going to come in about right 65 knots over the gate. Alright, 780, stretch base, slow to your final, 27 left, you clear to land. Okay, clear to land, 27 left. Alright, we got our last notch of collapsing, so we're full flaps now on a short final, slowing up to about that 65 knots. And that was four Sierra Mike? Sure. Slow to your final approach speed, you're going to be about number 10. Oh, how'd we get in so lucky? 2 1 Romeo, 2 miles from the field. 2 1 Romeo, clear to land. Better to be lucky than good. Clear to land, 2 1 Romeo. That's so true. Number 10 for the field. Looking good. Go back to any of Mike, Lake and Tower, report 4 from the airport. One four five Delta Juliet, uh, three turning right downwind for two seven. I think the tower call the base for the four air cams. All right, Cessna one Golf Romeo, turn left nice on runway five two three, good job, go to ground on point four. Your question, go to ground. I'll try to get off on the first taxiway here. So let the planes behind us land. Yeah. Here's right, Bravo intersection. We'll get off here. And we'll go over to ground. Left 360, right there. You got it. Straight to the numbers. Once we clear the hold short bars. Yeah, don't slow down. I got a ton of people coming in behind you. It is busy here. I'll tell you what. We got lucky we got in here. We're going right here to Shelter. Yep, right over here. Lakeland ground. Good afternoon, November 951. Golf Romeo, clear of 27 left. Yeah, Bravo, we need to go over to Shelter. If I won't call from you, left it out for right on Julia. Help for Julia in the ramp. Won't call from you, thanks. All right, so right through this way up to the ramp. Sounds good. Well, welcome to Lakeland, Florida, guys. We hope you enjoyed that IFR flight. Thanks, Captain Mindy, for yeah. having us on board. That was a fun, easy flight. Definitely was. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to click down in the description for all the different links of the music used in these videos and to follow along on all the different social medias. I'll link. Captain Mindy's Instagram down there, so be sure to give her a follow. It's a just, good parking spot. Yeah, I'm just right gonna the door. follow his hand instructions in. Once those batons cross, Captain Mindy will shut this down. We'll be on our way.
That's our show caravan. Oh, is it right there? Uh-huh. Cool.